Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Ezekiel here, and today we're going to be testing out the new season of Fortnite, also known as the Season of Marvel. Okay, so what makes this video so special? This video so special. Today we're going to be testing out the RTX 4070, which isn't the best, but isn't the worst 4000 series NVIDIA card. But we're going to be trying the game with epic Bruh. settings and ray tracing. Without more to say, please leave your comments and thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into the video. Next up guys are going to be my specs because I know everybody wants to hear what I have and it's an iCore 7 13700 KF which has 16 cores and 24 threads because I know Fortnite is CPU based. I also have 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running at 6,000 megahertz. Do you have any idea how fast I am? I'm fast as fuck, boy! This is in dual channel, and of course, the RTX 4070, which has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So here in the specs, guys, as you guys can see, we're gonna be playing in full screen, 1920 by 1080. We're gonna keep our frame movement to unlimited, so just to see how much FPS we can get. Direct X12 because we need this to turn on ray tracing. And as you guys can see, we have even motion blur on quality presets, epic. That's as high as it gets. And this is everything that is recommended. As you guys can see, Lumen is on. And all we have to do now is turn on hardware ray tracing. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys can hear it now, but my PC is now like actually starting to fly off. We have an airplane in here. I usually don't hear my graphics card work this hard. Okay, as you guys can see over here, we have like 64 FPS. I'm used to like 250, 300 in performance mode, but I mean, this is not bad at all. Okay, we're having stutters and drops. Okay, my graphics card is using a lot of potential, bro. My CPU just reached 100%, like what? But our usage of our graphics card is at 98%, bro. Like this is one of the highest I think I've ever seen it go up. And even though it looks beautiful, it still feels pretty smooth. Not too much starters, but I mean, I wasn't expecting like crazy performance from a 4070. Maybe something that you would get from a 4080 or 4090. But I mean, it's still pulling off pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Since it's not fully night. You guys can still see the shadows of the trees. You guys can see the grass moving. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Even though you guys can't see it, there's a lot going on. I'm pretty sure it could not handle 1440p though at ray tracing and everything epic. Like the 4070 is just not up there. Right now it's still pretty good, pretty stable. Temperatures are also pretty low. Graphics card is at 62 and our CPU or our processor is at 61 degrees Celsius. So that's still not hot. Even though that, that's kind of also going to depend on your on your cooler, on your AIO or your whatever you have. Which if you're in the 13th gen, you should at least be using a 240 millimeter. The one I have is 360 millimeter, so that might be why my um, CPU is still a little bit cool. Oh wow, look at this guys. It even shows like it's kind of on, but it's not. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie guys, this is my first time actually using ray tracing. And out of the 32 gigabytes I have, we're using like 19,927 megabytes, which is close to 20 gigabytes. Okay, there's a lot going on right here. And you guys can see my FPS went from like 70, 60-ish to 45 and 50. Oh my gosh. 
the delay, bro. Oh, but the water looks so, so, so clean. Oh, yes, this looks beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Look at all these shadows. There's just so much going on right now. I feel like my graphics card's about to explode, bro. Okay, we might be box fighting this kid. And it's gonna be hard, bro. Everything's so dark. I want to know in the comments, do you guys actually use these settings? Like, you can just feel the input delay. Like, it's so bad. I mean, yeah, I think I would definitely use these settings for, like, cyberpunk or, you know, like a story game mode. But not for a competitive game. No. A few moments later. Okay, and I know probably there's going to be someone in the comments saying, why didn't you try it out in creative? So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Okay, guys, now that we're in creative, we can see that we're almost using the same as in Battle Royale. But the difference here is that our FPS are almost double as they were in Battle Royale. We're looking at 112, 113 FPS, and my PC, okay, not too warm, not too warm, but yes, we are using like around 96% of our graphics card, and our processor is still at its 25, 28% usage, so not too bad either, and our RAM is also maintaining itself at like 18% thousand megabytes which is almost 20 gigabytes of the 32 gigabytes we have so not too bad but this guy won't hurry up so okay let's see how this goes playing in ray tracing guys so i have a lot of input delay no i hit a blank bro i promise but ggs That went through. Okay, we got it. Nice. Oh, okay, I can kind of do triple edits. What? Did you guys just see that? Oh, no. He beat me with that one, too. GG's caught you in there. Yo, that gatekeeper is No, I'm cut. <laughs> GG's. What? I don't even have time to hold the walls, bro. Nice. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm so used to playing with performance mode that like this feels so weird and not this not just that it's because the visuals go from like light to dark to light to dark like no oh, 196 total bro I'm 
hunt. <gasps> okay, nice. I got it. It's just I'm hitting so much blanks. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Playing with RTX on isn't really the way to go in a competitive game, especially like Fortnite. But I got to admit, this was fun and the visuals are crazy looking good if you got that nvidia 4000 3000 2000 series like just turn on rtx try it out see if you like it and let me know in the comments and see you guys in the next video